don't know how to phrase this, but growing up in the early 2000s being a Sonic fan was really interesting. You know, you had Sonic Heroes, probably one of the best Sonic platformers of the PlayStation 2 generation, but also comes along cartoons and they had the 4Kids animated series Sonic X. Now I don't know about you, but I really love this theme song. You know, gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. And if you don't know, this also sparked the whole internet meme where Sonic has to say, gotta go fast. Which, I mean, in retrospect, that's pretty much all he's known for. He's known for going fast, so that's not a big surprise there, so. But the one thing I want to ask is who made the theme song and why weren't they even brought back for any other future Sonic music projects? Why didn't they just use Crush 40? Crush 40 knows how to write a Sonic song. <laughs> Probably has to do with the budget of the show. See, if you don't know, there's a lot of people specifically hate the show for ridiculous reasons. Why do people hate the English dub saying it's too cheesy, too corny, but hey, at least we got Jason Griffith from that. We wouldn't even have had him in Sonic 06 if it wasn't for the show. And speaking of Sonic 06, my favorite cutscene in the entire game is Sonic screaming Elise after she is long dead. <laughs> Like, bro, she is not coming back, and, and when I say people hate this show for a reason, I mean they hate it. Take a look at this one hour video, all critiquing about how saying that it is the worst show ever or the worst made, like, has anybody ever seen Sonic Underground? That came out way before Sonic X. But to be honest, I think Sonic X is the only cartoon I've ever seen adapt from the video games, and they did it kind of decently well. I'm not going to say it was the best, they clearly had to change a lot of stuff. It sort of goes into the adventure games then spins off into this own dark space sci-fi story. And don't get me started on Chris Thorndike. <sighs> but other than that, I personally think this is my favorite next to Sonic Boom. But let me get into the main topic of today's video. Who made the Sonic X theme song? What is some of their music? Well, to not beat around the bush, mainly two individuals worked on the theme song. Joseph Garrity and Russell Velasquez. I think I pronounced that right. It was performed by the two of them. Now, Joseph Garrity is harder to look up when researching. I mean, these are the only images that came up when looking for his name. So it only goes that far, but Russell Villasquez is a different story. He is actually legendary. In my opinion, this man right here is responsible and the reason all of us late 90s and 2000s kids who didn't have proper TV and watch local TV stations like 4Kids to have a proper childhood. Oh, you don't know his works? Let me play some clips of it. on all of these. But you're probably thinking his music is perfect for a soundtrack, and I don't blame you. I kind of want this song in a style for a Sonic game, other than having Sonic Heroes to have that style in the bag. But why wasn't Russell hired back for a Sonic song? He would have been completely perfect. One thing I can say, it is most likely due to licensing, and since he was hired over at 4Kids, he probably had a dedicated contract, and he had to make a specific theme song or music for the shows. He wasn't hired under Sega. Sega didn't really do much for the production of the 4Kids version of Sonic X. If I can recall, I believe TMS Entertainment licensed Sonic X over and brought it over to the US. Oh, in projects as of recent, he seemed to work with a Let's Play skit series called Every Pokemon Ever by Every Game Ever. I don't know where his work is, but I watched a bit of it and it isn't bad if you're into chill, quirky, fun Let's Plays. Oh, also Mike Pollock is in it. The Eggman himself, he narrates on videos. I believe that is all for this video. In conclusion, I really admire all the team gave for a minute cheesy Sonic song, but based on their works, it sounds amazing. The best of the best. I believe that is one of the main reasons I fell in love with Sonic X. It all starts from the theme song to the tragic bittersweet end. Also, if you want to follow my Discord, my Twitch, my TikTok account. Yes, I finally caved in and got a TikTok account. And then also, I have my Twitter. You can also subscribe if you want to see more videos. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in like 10 years.